I mean, they, it, it doesn't take a scientist to realise they've got an amazingly difficult turnaround to do with that squad now, haven't they? Well, they've gone back to the this position they were under Pochettino's final weeks and months. So they've dropped away. I, when you say, do, do you feel sorry for Ryan Mason? No. no I don't. He's a lovely guy. He's bright, personable. He did some punditry at BT. You've seen him at the touchline exchanging words with Pep Guardiola yesterday. He'd, he'd learnt one thing. He'd learnt to cover his mouth when he was talking to <laughs> Pep Guardiola. I thought he's picked up the old uh, t the tricks already. Um, he's 29. He was born in 1991. I was losing my first house to an unhappy woman at that age. He's, he's on to the Wembley pitch. It's ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't trust the young anyway because they're here to replace us, so I'm, I'm immediately <laughs> against him. But he's, 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 that's a great experience for him. I mean, losing hurts, but as, as a, a point in his career, he's, he's in the shop window. It hasn't gone well that day. I don't think he can get blamed for that. He, at least he had the, the, the midweek game as well, which was a lift. So I, I don't know whether... I think he's a caretaker manager till the end of the season, sure. but the experience will be fantastic for him. And then we'll see who comes up next. But I still think it, is, it was crazy to get rid of Jose Mourinho for this particular game because he would have been the expert coach for this in stopping Manchester City, which is mm -hmm. all you can do. If you try and take them on, you have to play, play extremely well. Manchester United seems to be a, a, a bogey team for it at the moment because they sit and then break on the counter-attack. Mourinho's perfect at that kind of game. So I thought it was a little bit crazy. Why sure, didn't, you, you, want Mourinho, why didn't yeah. you want Mourinho there in the sense that, you know, there seemed to be a feeling that, oh, it'll be embarrassing if Mourinho wins the trophy, then we, then we have to sack him. And also that Mourinho would, you know, make great play of it. I won you a trophy and you still sack me and all that. But so what? Did it? Did you that really? Me? Man yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah. you did admit to me that you were happier that Ryan Mason was the man who lost the trophy than you would have been. A yeah. So yeah. Why though? Because, why not just sure. want to win the trophy? Because I'm, I'm a fan, aren't I? Rather than in this particular case, a pundit. Um, and I said at the start of this, I wanted somebody. Um, you know, at 17 months ago on Talk Sport, the day he was appointed, and when I was actually in tears, to be fair. <laughs> Um, I cried on air. Um, <laughs> Jamie O'Hara was shouting at me. I can't have that. Um, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm happy to admit it. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of my feelings. Um, and I, 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 you know, I want somebody who I can be proud of, somebody who isn't, to me, bordering on sociopathic in charge of the football club. Um, he's, and, and we went through it all again. A person um, who just wasn't getting on with people, all the rest of it. Um, and I don't worry about it, but, you know, if, they, if they'd won the trophy, I'll tell you what would have happened if they'd won the trophy under Mourinho. Mm -hmm. Everything that Des says is true. But then people like yourselves would have been saying, well, it's only the League Cup. It's not really real progress, isn't it? And we've been in, back into exactly the same cycle. Um, I, don't think, I don't think they would have done, not with Tottenham. I mean, Tottenham have a, a desperate need for silverware. And to claim that would have been a little step on the road. And you could still mm -hmm. decide who your manager is mm -hmm. in the summer. I mean, don't tell me this was... Uh, just a com coincidence that he disappeared on the day of the European Super League launch, as the phrase has been used everywhere, a good day to bury bad news, which was a, a former Labour uh, spin mm -hmm. doctor's take on 9-11 when you go back. So if something massive event happens, you can sneak all sorts of things out because the, the impact of Jose getting sacked would have been huge on a normal news mm. day. Instead, there was a That's tsunami totally. alongside it. So I, it was... It was calculated. He obviously had a th thought about it. It wasn't a spur of the moment. And My guess, though, for what it's worth, my mm. guess is that Spurs had two winnable home games coming up. Um, they've won one of them. They've got Sheffield United coming. I think that, uh, from what I understand, Mourinho's payoff becomes increasingly huge depending on where he is in the league when you pay him off. And, and, his, and I'm not sure there's a trophy bonus as well, but hey. Yeah, and there was a danger of, of Spurs not being seventh when they did it, which is probably as low as they're going to go this season. I mean... Daniel Levy is a lot of things, um, but unruthless is not one of those if that's not too Radio 4 a construction. Um, unruthless. But I don't understand yeah. why you wouldn't want to win a trophy. I, I still don't I did get want that. To win I've it, told Sean. you many times yeah, that I, I don't care who would have been in charge of Newcastle or whatever, whatever the circumstances, to win a trophy when I've never seen them win a domestic trophy in my life. Mm. I wouldn't have cared. And yet you're saying, oh, well... Good. I'm glad they sat Mourinho and somebody yeah, but, didn't win. But, uh, I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm not sure I share everyone's confidence that uh, they would have had a much better chance with Mourinho. I think, yeah, I, I don't, I don't. I mean, better, yes. Uh, quantifying much better, different story. Mm. Well, well, of course you, I want them to if win. If you don't like him because he's a defensive coach, that gives you an indication of his strength. So he's, he sets up a team very well. Mm. I don't think anyone could do 
the two argue. Well, he would have done it better than Spurs this weekend, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, they lost one nil, <laughs> you know, and they, they survived yeah. for 80 minutes. But yeah, of course, yeah. that's a combination of a, goal, a goalkeeper in fine form and, let's be fair, an absolute wheelbarrow full of luck. Um, mm. If you can say you're lucky to be on the back foot for 80 minutes of a game, <laughs> yeah. then they definitely were. You're listening uh, to the press bo- uh, to the press box. Uh, Sean-